Welcome to the channel that I love with a passion. I run three channels, but unfortunately this one is very sensitive because of the landscape of the world that we live in. You gotta sugarcoat everything. So I'm gonna just quickly read from an article here for like 10 seconds. I'm gonna have a link down below in the description box to also credit where I got this information from. Don't ever care where I get my info from. Doesn't matter if it's Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, LMNOP, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day or the night, this information seems to be accurate. The agony of 24 hostages is over, but the Gaza war isn't. When Hamas, okay, some words I gotta be careful with what I say. He killed and kidnapped 1,400 people on October 7th. It triggered the biggest Middle Eastern crisis in a decade in a brutal war in Gaza. And on November the 24th, today, a small number of roughly 240 captives tasted freedom again amid a four-day truce in the fighting. But that's not even really so much what I want to talk about, but I did want to highlight this because this is obviously good news. My main thing that I'm confused about is... Why do people pick sides? I'm, I'm being serious. Like, shed some light, because I'm clearly in the dark, like in this picture here. I don't get it. This isn't like choosing your favorite sports team. Whether you're rooting for Palestine or Israel, both have committed atrocities towards humanity in a great capacity. I also don't give a damn who started it. It's not one of these. Well, he started it. They've both done some absolutely vile, despicable shit towards one another. Me, I do the whole, I pick humanity. It sounds corny, but I'm being serious. I pick the peace flag. In other words, anybody who's a civilian, you know, children, all that, nobody should be getting messed with. But both sides have done some heinous shit to one another. So I get confused when I go for my jogs in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night, whenever. And I'm running by people's houses and I see... We stand with Palestine. And then it's got like a pal It looks like a, an election sign. You know, those hard signs, like a flag, but it's hard. It says we just stand with Palestine. I've never seen one, by the way, in, in my area, uh, that says we stand with Israel. But on Twitter, or X, I call it Twitter, because the URL says Twitter.com. So I'm going to keep calling it Twitter until it says X.com. But that might bring you to a different website now, wouldn't it? We won't talk about that in this video. That'll get me absolutely cancelled. So that's the part that I'm confused about. When it comes to, like, Russia and Ukraine, just to kind of touch, because that's another thing that's going on. And again, I don't ever claim to be a huge expert in anything that I talk about. I do some research. I cross-reference some different websites so that I'm not getting a biased view from just CNN or just Fox or any of this kind of stuff, okay? I, I look around and I try to make sure that some of the information that I'm reading that I talk about seems to be consistent throughout the websites, just like this whole couple of dozen hostages. That seems to be the information that is going around. Again, at the end of the day or night, I'm not there to physically witness it. I didn't watch this live. I didn't sit there and count. Oh, that was only 22. It's not 24. Fake news. Right? So some of this could be a little bit off here. But this is what we're told. And like I said, I don't get why people are picking sides. I haven't seen anybody standing for Israel except for on Twitter. And again, just because you stand for Israel doesn't mean you're standing for Netanyahu, whatever his fucking name is. Uh, most people agree that he's just got to go. He is not good. He's essentially Hamas in Israel. And then the people that uh, stand for Palestine, again, that doesn't mean, again, that they're standing for Hamas. They're standing for the people. But if you stand for the people, so most of the people I've come across on social media, because nobody wants to talk about this in person, um... Most people that like, oh, yeah, 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 free Palestine, free Israel, or, you know, free the captives, or I stand with them, or whatever. What about the other side? Why, why don't you just stand for, for peace? I know a lot of people will be like, well, I don't like people that sit on the fence. You got to pick a side. Bet you ain't got to pick a side. 
you don't have to. Both people are going back and forth. So, like, when Russia got attacked, which, you know, we won't get too much into this one, and they attacked Ukraine, yeah, I stand with Ukraine, you know, because now they're fighting back and just trying to get rid of those Russians that are trying to kick their ass. That, that just made sense. But if all of a sudden, and I'm not saying that this is what happened, I'm saying if Ukraine had pulled a Russia and now gone over to their side and started doing all these atrocities, well, then I wouldn't be standing with Ukraine. You see what I'm saying? I'd be like, no, 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 that just went somewhere else now. It went from just defending yourself to you're doing the same shit that they were doing to you. And again, that whole thing, two wrongs don't make a right. It's one thing to defend yourself against your assailant, but to go overboard, okay? Yeah, you just, you don't do that. And that's what's going on here, is both sides, both gone hog wild. I need somebody to explain to me, what does it mean when you say, I stand with Palestine? That seems to be the main one. Or I stand with Israel, like I said, mainly on social media. What does that mean? What are you saying about the other side? Do you not care? Otherwise, wouldn't you be like, like I, and I've seen a couple of signs. I got to close my eyes because it helps me think because my brain fires shit at a million miles an hour. OCD, ADHD, it's, okay. I've seen, I stand with Palestine and the genocide, you know, the killings in Gaza, the bloodshed in Gaza. I agree with, and the bloodshed at the whole thing. But why not have like a universal sign that, that shows like both Israel and Palestine? I don't, I don't understand. That's the part that I'm confused. Me from day one, from the first moment I heard of this, I was just like, like I said, this ain't a sports team. There's no like picking sides. This isn't like a war between good and evil. This feels like, from what I'm seeing, evil versus just more evil. Just maybe one started at first. I don't even really care about that. I looked into the history because this goes like far, far back into history. This isn't the first time that we've seen some stuff here. So to me, Netanyahu, again, whatever his name is, and Hamas, just not good people. There are some incredibly loving, normal people on both sides of that border that are suffering tremendously at the hands of both sides. That's it. That's why I'm confused. That's why I'm making the video. So if you have any thoughts, let me know down below. Give them to me. I don't care. I can take it. Thumbs up if you liked the video. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. We'll bend it in half, twist it, break it off in your hand. And if you want to subscribe to this channel, go ahead. I have two others that are way less divisive. But this one here, NPC News, Politics, Controversy. These are the topics of discussion that get people riled up. You can choose your favorite football, basketball team, whatever. But once you start talking politics, oh boy. Once you start talking about COVID, oh boy. That's where people lose their shit. Me? I don't give a damn. Don't give a monkey's ass. If you're respectable and you share with me why you feel the way you do, that's cool, even if I don't agree with you, right? We could do that whole thing to agree to disagree, and that's cool. And my ex, my Twitter, my peeps that are following me, not a lot of them, there's a few of them. Some of them are Trumpers. I know, it's kind of creepy, isn't it? Because for a while, when he was running, I was making fun of him. But now Biden's running. I'm making fun of him, too. Some people are like, hey, I thought, you know, you were a resistor. I was like, bitch, what the fuck does that even mean? Seriously. They're both creepy. I wish one was running the show more than the other. And it's definitely not Sleepy Joe. And this is all coming from a Canadian libtard. Yeah. That's right. There's no snowflake here, pal. I am an iceberg. But like from a hundred years ago, you know, before they started like melting into a puddle because icebergs nowadays, they're not that strong. Okay? I just don't care. I got friends on every side. 
right? And we keep it civil. It's wonderful to have these kinds of discussion for people that are into this kind of shit. A lot of people, most people I know, especially in person, they don't want to get into this stuff because it's face to face and it's awkward as shit for most people. I thrive in the awkwardness. I enjoy it because I just don't care in that freedom. You can smell it. You can taste it. It is incredible when you can share how you truly feel and just not be bothered by what people think. But unfortunately, you gotta sugarcoat it a little bit on this platform because they are very adamant in their stance on certain topics, whether it's the Ukraine-Russia war, Gaza, COVID, all those crazy topics of discussion. You can't even share how you feel too, too much in some light. You can't even say, well, what if this is the truth? You're not saying that it is. You're just like, well, what if this is how it was? I mean, I feel this way because in such and such a reason. Oh, no, you can't do that. You will get canceled faster than my eye blinking. Really, it's it's insane. And that's the kind of world that I don't really enjoy partaking in. But here I am, and this platform doesn't really give me the platform to fully 100% just unleash the dragon. I feel like I'm just unleashing a cricket. That probably made no sense. I didn't give that any thought before I said that, but in my brain, that made sense. Just going to end it here. Take care. Seriously, whether you're riding with Biden off a cliff or you're on the Trump train getting derailed, I don't care. Let's just all have fun, poking fun at one another uh, about politics. Definitely not about something like this, though, because this uh, is pretty serious. Some of the footage I've seen... It's, uh, it's heart-wrenching, and I don't care who you're standing for. It's like if you don't have any kind of empathy uh, for these people that are suffering, regardless of what side of the border they're on, then you truly have no soul, really. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.